Neighborhood libraries do more than just house books. They preserve stories and cultural heritage of a community. And Norfolk is gearing up to celebrate one of its longstanding libraries with a unique history of its own. Ashley Smith explains how the city's Blyden branch has ensured that people's voices are heard for more than a century. In 1921, about 43,000 black people lived in Norfolk. The Blyden Branch Library was their only public access to books. The Norfolk Public Library, um, they approved around $1,700, and that money was used to open up two rooms at the former Mission College, which is now the Booger T. Washington High School, and that became the Blyden Library. Norfolk Public Library Board of Trustees Vice Chair Charles Johnson says Blyden was the first municipally supported library for African Americans in Virginia. Its history steeped in societal norms that shaped its path from the start. To keep in mind, we were still in segregation. Jim Crow laws were there. They were using old books, hand-me-down books. It was crowded because there were many people who wanted to use the facility, but they only had two rooms to go to. The library remained a two-room facility until it relocated in 1938, and then again to its current building nearly two decades later. As many people know, desegregation occurred. Many of the middle class people, many of the businesses that were there along Church Street and so forth, they started to move out. And then came redevelopment. Johnson says the branch and its staff became an integral part of the surrounding neighborhoods like Barberton and Huntersville. People would come to the library knowing that it was a place where they felt accepted. It was a place where they could relate to the managers. It was a place where they could interact with people they know in the neighborhood. And after 103 years as a community cornerstone, he says Blyden is still evolving to meet the needs of new generations. Uh, new books are being brought into the building. They're developing programming that will interact or affect the young people who are in the area, who have a need for it. So the library is still the hub of community. Ashley Smith, 13 News Now. And the Come Home to Blyden celebration is this weekend. There will be a musical celebration at the Attics Theater on Friday at 7 p.m. and a Neighborhood Community Day on Saturday on the library grounds on East Princess Ann Road from 11 a.m. until 4 p.m. Both events are free and open to the public.